For the past 10 weeks, I've been working on my game, Droids, Ships, and Planets. I've probably put about 20-ish hours into development so far, and it's been pretty jumbled. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what I have done, what I think about it, and what is next. So what has been done so far? I made some basic models such as a ship and asteroids, and I've done some texturing slash shader work with Shader Graph and Substance Painter. I did some basic movement for the player ship. You can destroy enemies with projectiles. I have somewhat of a framework for different UI elements as well as resource management, and I have a pretty scattered game design document. Now in these past two weeks, which I haven't shown previously, I've been working on the movement of the planet, which I will need to talk about in a second, as well as consuming of other planets. It's in a somewhat playable state, but because I've been reworking the main mechanic, it kind of messed things up. So what are my thoughts? Uh, these past 10 weeks have kind of been a mess. Uh, I haven't had too much of a plan, uh, but kind of going sporadically has helped me figure out what I really want to do with this game, at least for right now. Now, since I originally came up with this idea, or at least somewhat of an idea for what I want to do for this game, I've been calling it Planet Eater. Like in my Trello, I have Planet Eater and then it's whatever my idea is. And that's has been the core, at least since the start. I don't know exactly why I strayed away from this idea the past nine weeks. I kind of experimented with it a little bit in the GMMTK uh, 2021 jam and it didn't exactly work out how I envisioned. And I've also been looking at different mechanics and getting new ideas as well. The only thing that has been really consistent in all this is that it'll be, uh, it'll be a space game. So <laughs> I know that. I started doing some stuff with ships and having ship combat and enemy AI that would attack the player with projectiles. I've also been doing some stuff with resource management, uh, different RTS kind of elements. But with all that, I haven't really fully understood what the core of the game is. It feels like I'm kind of going separate ways and nothing's really connecting together that well. So now that I've developed a little bit of a prototype or more so just gotten into the development of it, I've tried to really narrow down my idea and really figure out what that thing is. And very topically, uh, in my VR systems class, we learned about razor statements, which is similar to an elevator pitch. It's basically a two to three sentence description of your game, and it really narrows down what the game elements will include, what the game is like. I'm still working through what mine is, and I've kind of got an idea on here it is. Droids, Ships, and Planets, and that name may change, is a single player 3D city builder strategy game where you play as a planet in a solar system. Consume other celestial bodies to grow and upgrade your planet with new technology and military. Consume all the enemy factions to win. Now this will likely change, but hopefully it's only slightly. The core idea will be similar to Agra.io, in this case instead of amoebas or bacteria or whatever it was, uh, it will be planets. So if you're a bigger planet, if you go to another one, you'll consume it, grow bigger, and if someone else is bigger, or someone else being a planet, and it tries to consume you, they will eat you and then you will lose. So you can also think about it like mortal engines, but with planets instead of cities. Now this core is very simple, which I do like in the development sense, uh, but I have a little bit of flexibility in terms of what I want to do for different city building and strategy aspects uh, that will occur on the planet itself. Again, who knows what will change in the future because even just the past couple weeks have changed a lot, uh, but I I'm kind of liking the sound of where this is going. So uh, what's the next course of action? Uh, I want to get a gameplay loop um, pretty much completed. And I have some of that already done with what I've worked on the past couple weeks and everything as a whole. I, I want to have it so I can sort of play it and sort of get the idea of if it's really fun and the core is pretty simple and it, it should be fun, uh, but I really want to figure that out and actually get playing somewhat of a game. And I also want to work on the visuals a little bit. You guys obviously know I love playing around with Shader Graph. And I recently played through X01, which is a, a new game that just came out. And honestly, it's probably one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. It takes place on a bunch of different planets. You can see there are different atmospheres and, and surfaces and, and the skybox and stars. Like It is so beautiful. And if I could get anywhere near close to that level of quality for, for my game and the space environments, I would be ecstatic. So I'll probably play around with that a little bit, just trying to improve the visuals and also just to make uh, the videos look a little bit, uh, a little bit prettier. So that about wraps up what I, uh, what I want to say. Uh, again, it's kind of jumbled, but you know that's kind of how development, I guess, goes, and you know, that's that's where the fun kind of happens. So we'll see, uh, see what happens in uh, Devlog 20. We'll we'll see what I'll be saying and how I look back on this right now. So thank you for watching. I love you forever, and I'm coming back next week.